I just like the sound. Hey yo, what's good? I'm Mobbush Boy Sneakers. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, while you're down there, you might as well just hit the thumbs up button. All right, so I normally don't rant about things. Usually, I just like let things go. I know what I'm gonna talk about is not really a big deal, but I was disappointed when I got what it was that I got, and that is a product from Supreme. It was week one of the season. I'm excited to get all my products. I'm still waiting on like so many things. I think I only got one thing, two, three things. I got obviously the cups right here, as you can see, and I also got the Zippo lighter right down here, and I also got this right here, and I'm still missing like three or four things. I think three. If I'm not mistaken, but anyways, let's get into what it is So about two Thursdays ago on week one I was on the website trying to buy everything I possibly could and as you guys can tell I got a lot of stuff and one of the things were the crossbody bags I think it's called like a shoulder bag or a crossbody. I don't know what it's called I'm pretty sure it's a shoulder bag though and on the website it looked really nice Like you see a supreme strap. It's a supreme on it super dope all that and the bag It looked like a decent size. I, I was like, okay Maybe I'm gonna rock this instead of the kith fanny pack that I always wear I always wear a fanny pack across like like as a crossbody bag I guess you can call it or a bum bag as Louis Vuitton calls it. I don't know every company calls it differently but I call it crossbody anyways that's not the point since you guys know a lot of people have been wearing these it has been the style since last year everybody's wearing the Gucci ones and I was like you know what I'm just gonna get a supreme one because the Gucci one I won't get until I go down south which is actually gonna be this weekend and hopefully I'll find a Gucci bag that I like so I can actually buy it but anyways I was actually excited to have a supreme one because I love supreme I just love the name I don't know why just call me hype this if you want I don't care so point is I got this bag right here I was so disappointed when I pulled it out the packaging like the packaging was fine but when I pulled it out the bag I was like what is this yo it looks like a little kid's bag let me show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. Like you guys see how small this is? It looks big right here on camera, but if you compare it to like my chest, it's literally the size of like, not even my whole chest. And right now it only looks this way because it is flat, but once you put something in it, it is gonna like condense and the width won't be as thick or width. It won't be as wide. There we go. That's the way I was looking for. It won't be as wide. I was so hype about it. I'm actually going to take out the bag. You guys can see the straps. That's actually the size of the strap. It's the size of that part of my pinky. It's literally only an inch thick. And the whole strap is like that. It looks like a little kid's bag. Like, honestly, look at this. I put it on. And I know I know I can adjust it. But it's as wide as me. And I was so disappointed because it looks like a little kid's bag. And I was not, like, you're not, you're not going to see me wearing this bag out there. Because it looks kind of embarrassing, to be honest. I'd rather wear a fanny pack around my waist than wear this cane on the side. I'm not going to lie. You guys see that looks really dope there it looks way different on camera which kind of sucks because you guys won't really get my point of this video but i wish they would have made this thicker let me show you guys a comparison of the kith bag and this one so this is the kith strap you guys can see how much thicker it is you see it says kith on there i bought this over at kith new york when i was there and look how much thicker it is i think it's like double the size it's actually one and a half of it like you can see it in the back i know they're both black but you can see how much thicker it is and this this right here looks legit on you this is not how to wear it but it looks like a man's bag not a man i can't say a man's bag this looks like a kid's bag this does it. So I'm just gonna go with this. I like the gold too, the gold hints on it. Kith is so good with their quality. I honestly love all their products. But unfortunately, I cannot afford them all because they're dumb expensive. Everything is just like over $100. I don't think there's anything in the store that's under $100. Maybe there's a few things, but a lot of things are just dumb expensive. Like I was about to buy a shirt one day when I was there and the shirt ended up being like $500. I didn't know it. Didn't have a price tag. I was like, yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna buy a $500 shirt. Instead, I ended up buying an off-white shirt, which is like a few hundred dollars cheaper. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get that instead. So while I'm here, I might as well just give you guys a review. You do have a little Supreme right there. I wish they would have made it like somewhere bigger, maybe like Supreme right here instead of just this little box. It makes it look more childish than what it already is. The bag is tiny. It's literally, I can't even explain to you guys how small it is. It looks way bigger on camera though. I would not personally keep this. I'm actually gonna sell it to my homeboy because he really wants a Supreme side bag. So I will be selling this to him. I'm waiting for my duffel bag. I'm hoping the duffel bag straps are not. So I'm hoping that the double bag straps are not this thin because I would be really disappointed. I'm really like excited for that one because I do need a duffel bag. Right now I have an Adidas one that I was using since like high school for baseball and that thing's just dirty. So I want to have a Supreme one, you know you look lit carrying that Supreme bag. Honestly, if they're this thin, I'm gonna be so disappointed. I might as well just sell it at that point too. And as far as the pockets go, like you do have one big pocket and then you have like a little sleeve right here. You could probably put like a tablet in there, like a mini iPad mini or something. And here you, you have a pocket that's really hard to access because there's this flap and then you gotta like pull out. You do have like a little clip for like keys or something. I don't know what you would use it for. Most likely, I think that is used for keys. And then on the inside here, it's a really hard, my hand doesn't even fit in the pocket. So it's, it'd be hard to even get anything in here. Honestly, this is a poor job of an excess, I guess, a bag from Supreme. I wish it would have made it a little bigger, a little more easily to access that little pocket. And maybe that logo could have been bigger. But other than that, the quality of itself, like the quality of the material and all that, it is good, but that's because when Supreme does collabs or when they make accessories or anything, they usually collab with a company like this one is called 
Cordura or Cordura. All they did was throw Supreme there and Supreme on here. And I think they do that with almost all their products. Like this one, I don't know what company it comes with. I think these are actually Supreme Supreme. These actually came from them. They just put their name on it. I don't know what company that is. And the Zippo lighter, obviously Zippo, really known company for the lighters. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much my rant on this bag. I just wish it would have been bigger. It would have been not so childish. Like I said, that's pretty much my biggest problem. I, w I was ready to rock this because I just wanted a side bag. One of the longer ones. The fanny pack, it kind of restricts me and it's just kind of annoying to wear sometimes, but it still looks dope. So don't get me wrong on that. This got me wanting to buy the Gucci one now because I was so excited to have one of these. I was ready to like, I was ready to, you know, when you want something and then you don't get it and you still want to get something else that's like it. That's pretty much my deal right now. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and get the Gucci one next week or the week after. I don't know. I'm going on a cruise. So we'll see how time works out for me down there. But one good thing about Supreme is that they have been giving stickers now because I remember towards the end of the season of last season, they were not giving stickers at all. Oh, and by the way, I know a lot of you guys are going to say the bag was only $54 and you're going to get what you pay for. I understand that, but I feel like coming from Supreme, they would have done a way better job nice. of getting a bigger bag. At least they should have had another option to buy a slightly bigger bag if that company provides it. Like the duffel bags, there's two sizes. I bought the larger one and there's a smaller one for different occasions. So I feel like they should have those options at least. In the end, they're all gonna sell out and Supreme is gonna make their money. That's just my thought on that whole thing. Thank you guys for watching. Today's fan of the day does go to Hype Dragon. If you wanna become fan of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, and also be one of the first people to comment on my latest video and you will have the chance to be fan of the day for the next video. That being said, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'm sorry I didn't upload on Friday because I did have to go to work early. Apparently they were like really slammed and a lot of people weren't there. People like decided to take the weekend off for some reason. But this week I'm coming with an upload every single day, even on Friday when I'm leaving back down home. That being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers by the end of this month, so let's get it. Anyways, guys, make sure you keep grinding. It's your boy, Sneaker signing out.